One of the conditions of Salat is wudu, ablution. So if I pray without ablution, my prayer is void. Simple as that, because the condition was not fulfilled. But if I make ablution, this does not mean I have to pray. I may pray and I may, I may not pray. So when the condition is there, it doesn't mean that I have to perform the form of worship. But if it is not fulfilled, if it's not there, this means that even if I perform the worship, the form of worship, it is invalid. So what are the conditions of Salat? There are many. Among them is, first of all, niyyah or intention. And the intention, some make it as a condition because it comes before the prayer and some make it as a pillar. And it's more likely to be a condition. So you have to know what you're doing. You have to intend it. And I will not go into the conditions of Salat because this is a long topic. But I have to know whether I'm praying Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, or Fajr. I just can't say Allahu Akbar and during the prayer say, hmm, what is this? Oh, I think it's Witr. No, this is not valid. Second condition, facing the Qibla. So if I know the direction of Kaaba, I have to direct myself to it. If I know it's there and I direct myself this way, then my prayer is invalid. Third uh, uh, condition is the entrance of the time of prayer. So I want to pray Maghrib and I can see the sun is about to set or half of it is, has disappeared. And I say, Allahu Akbar, your prayer is invalid. Why? Because the sun has to completely set and disappear for Maghrib to be due and you can't pray before the time is due. Condition number four, to cover your awrah. So for a man, I have to cover from the navel to the knees. This is my awrah. This is the private part that must not be shown. Without it, my prayer is invalid. Number five is to have purity. And purity is divided into two types. Wudu, which is uplifting the status of impurity. Or ghusl, which is uplifting the major state of impurity, the ritual impurity. This is number one. Wudu or ghusl. Number two, purity of my body, no najasa, no impurities on it. Purity of my clothes and purity of the spot that I'm praying on.